All right, we're going to paint a painting. And uh, we're just going to do some mountains and a lake. And I'm really glad you guys tuned in. And I'll get this set up and we'll take off painting here. My name's Jeff Parker. And uh, we're going to try to have some fun. We're going to have a just a beautiful, calm, blue sky, a mountain, a lake, and some banks coming down, so other mountains coming down. It's going to be real peaceful and beautiful, and we're going to have lots of fun. So hang in there with me. First, we'll make us a sky. and the lake at the same time. Now, I like to make really pale skies. That's my favorite kind of sky. Pale blue. And it's been a really pretty day here in Kentucky. That's where I live. It's been a very, very beautiful day. We just had a shower. We'll probably get another one here in a minute. Actually painting on a piece of cardboard. It's kind of like this stuff that you put on a wall. You get it at Lowe's. I got my water brush here a little bit too, but we'll just go ahead and paint this down here too. Make us a real light band right across there. <clears throat> right across here. Appreciate anyone who tunes in. I don't see any viewers right now. We're just getting started on a painting. And I might hang this flower pot over here and <clears throat> block the sun. Because it looks like the sun is kind of getting on the painting a little bit. The sun is going over toward the west there. We got a big bumblebee flying around here. We'll start blending this. Get this all nice and blended. Oh yes. Love these pretty, pretty soft skies. To a cloud there. Have a few little soft clouds drifting by. And we're going to just have fun here. And we're going to try to 
not get too tore up. Nobody's a big, nobody's an expert or famous or anything here. We're just a bunch of average Joes trying to have fun. We'll do okay though. We'll do all right. Put a little bit more white there right across the center. Because at the horizon, I like to have a really soft glow. Okay? And I'm trying to picture where these mountains, there'll be a mountain right there. His reflection will be right down here. So when we draw our mountains, we have to do it twice. We have to come down and do it in the water also. Whatever you put it on there, you have to do it again. So I'm imagining our mountains are going to be like right up in here. I'm going to make a glow that kind of shines off of these mountains. It's like a glow, a horizontal glow. Okay. I know it don't make a lot of sense to put white back up there again after I just went through that, but you'll get it later. And down here in the water, there'll be a same kind of a glow in the water. has a glow about it. Shine puts off a shine. Brighten it up. Kind of blend that away. Just up in the corners. Just up in the corners. that off the porch. <laughs> my wife will skin my eyes. Eh? Get a little wop paint on anything that you don't want it on. Just take something wet and wipe it right off. are looking good. I don't see any viewers. Sometimes I have viewers from France and uh, Spain, England, a few Americans. Now this water right over here in this corner, I'm going to make it a little darker. Right in this corner. Right over here going across the front. We'll kind of blend that out. And we might have a little dark spot over here. Right up in here. The 
because we want our water to look like it's kind of deep. Okay? Just slightly different from the sky. Slightly different. But I want you to know, even though I'm doing this, I'm just guessing. Because I'm no expert, and I've painted this painting before, but there'll be a reflection of that mountain in there. It's a blurry reflection, okay? Now we're going to put our mountain in. I've already got some stuff over here. And we, we want to make our mountain sort of gray. Sort of gray. Grace blue, alright? Sort of grayish blue color. go. Here's our mountaintop. There's our little halo. And we'll come up here and start rubbing this, putting, putting it in. Like that. Down like this. Mountains are not just real straight. take a putty knife and do a few little details on this mountain. We're just going to block things in first, okay? Roughing it in. There's going to be another bank come down like this, okay? Of another hill sloping down. So let me block all this in here. Just block in. We'll have a nice big green forest coming down off of there. The way we'll do it is we'll trick the eye. We'll make a few little hills back in here. Coming down. One over here. But we'll do all that slowly as we go. We'll just keep building. And we'll put we'll put the mountain in later in the water just slightly. Now we can start doing stuff with this mouth. I usually do this of the morning. First time I've ever tried to do it in the afternoon. I actually got to get this done before I go to church. <laughs> Bug walking on my mountain there. Okay. I need to darken that a little bit.
trying to picture how this is going to be. On a mountain, they have like valleys coming down, like this. They have little creeks on them, and there's ridges and stuff on these mountains. Detail all that out. We'll kind of go up here and just we'll just touch here and there and make some characteristics up here on this mountain. We're going to do this, just rough, rough characteristics. This mountain. The other thing that people make mistakes on on these mountains is they they make these mountains have too much snow on them. We know, we know in this, in life now, that ain't the way it is. Maybe back 150, 200 years ago, but not now. A lot of these mountains actually one time way back was a volcano. Just hang in there with me now. Just hang in with me there. We'll have a lot of fun here. We'll make the top of this mountain look really, really rough. This ain't snow we're putting on here, I want you to know that. This ain't snow. It's, it's just rough, raggedy rocks and stuff.
up to a certain point we'll have a forest coming up on this mountain and getting in these crevices stuff coming from down here and we're going to once we get this mountain completed we'll start working our way forward always always coming forward I've got to get on the ball Here and put just a few little clouds in the sky. I'm gonna have some just coming. I always like to go back in the way distance and put some. Just little clouds here and there, way back. Like there's a front back there somewhere. Way out in the distance. Makes your eye look feel like something's going on way back there. Then you just kind of soften them a little by hitting them again. Bring them right off the mountain, behind your mountain there. We'll go up here. On these mountains, they have, they make their own little atmosphere. Right off the top there. We'll have a little atmosphere going on up here, top of this mountain. A little disturbance. Something going on. Now we'll start touching off, making some little snowy things. Not a lot. We're going to make this mountain and personality. Put a little bit of pop, make this pop at the top here. We're just putting little sparkles in this snow to make the snow sparkle. We'll get this on here and move on here in a second. We'll just 
just going to make this pop a little bit. Okay. We're going to come up here. We're going to make some forests. We'll come down like a little greenish blue. This brush is really not doing what I want. Put forests in over here. Climbing up and down these crevices on this mountain. We know that down in the valley it will get a little, little power, more powerful down in here, okay? The trees are a little greener and they are a little stronger down in here. nice little forest back in there and we'll leave that little shadowy blue stuff in there
this will start falling into place here in a minute. We're just doing the stuff that's really far away. Really, really far away. I got a little too much water on my brush. I'm going to switch to a different brush. We're going to start putting in some dark trees, dark green trees. And we'll put a little bit of mist over in there. get up to the freeze line on these mountains, stuff won't grow. Now, we'll let that be dry, and we're gonna we're gonna put us in a little forest right across through here, coming down like this. A little forest coming down like that. And then we'll put us in a little background color. Oh, 
this is going to set that back a little. These are going to be pine trees and stuff. They will come down and meet right into this other one that's coming down this way. It will. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's, let's doctor this one up first. We have to make our reflections in the water as we, as we do this bank. We have to get these dark so we'll have natural shadows there. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this brush here and we're going to blur that just a little. We're going to make a blur line like that. Now, we'll be letting that dry and we'll put us in a little beach over there. This will be our beach. I'm 
I'm going to have to get on the ball. It'll all make sense here in a minute. It'll all make sense. Now we're going to put us a little shoreline, a little shoreline, like water is rippling up against the shore, across this. From a distance. I don't see any viewers. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to build this other bank right over here. Put us some big nice trees over there. What are you barking at? Huh? Now we want to put a nice couple of nice trees that go up above the horizon. Like this. As this comes down. And get this up where you can give a perspective of something here and keep working our way down. We'll add bushes and stuff in on this, rocks. Okay, now we're going to come out and put some land right in here. with it because you want and this can have green in it green and black because we're going to put little designs on them flares and these flares I love this brush here, this particular brush I'm using. Does it make great weeds and grass? I 
I've got to get this done so I can go to church. got to have this dark so that whenever you're putting your flowers in there will be natural shadow in there for us. And I hope I'm getting some viewers because I'm busy painting and I haven't been paying much attention to you guys back there. And I apologize for that. And people on Facebook have no idea how maybe this works. This uh periscope thing so when I'm talking to this picture of the screen there they don't know who I'm talking to Now let's start, uh, let's go way back here in the background, we'll start, we're going to make these into big, nice, evergreen trees, okay? But before I go back there and do that, I'm going to make some green grass, right here in the front. And then we'll come back later and we'll highlight them. negative space okay we're just gonna make some leafy grass down here That will give that a little bit of color. Now on this other shore over here, we're going to go back here and we're going to make us some evergreen trees. Way back in there, in the back. And I really want them to pop, so I'm not going to use this brush here. I'm going to use this other little brush. And make these evergreens really, 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 really pop. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to go over here and just kind of start uh, you got to really, really lighten up when you're doing this. You can't, can't mash too much. You get to 
really, really lighten up. have to do the ones that's kind of out in front. Just give them a little bit of a hit. Make a suggestion. All this will dull like crazy. You will not be able to believe all this will dull. We'll have to hit it again later. It'll sparkle it a little. Okay, now we have to do the same thing over here.
important that the ones up close you get a little more detail on. Very important. We'll start working our way down. What you barking at, big boy? Huh? What you barking at? What you barking at? That's my little doggy Wrangler. He's my little baby dog. I've got to try to get this done. All right, starting to come together. Got to just hit these little ones back here a little bit, here and there.
we'll add us some pretty little flowers there and we'll be done, okay? So, I can touch this up later. So let's make us some, some little pretty flowers. Some little summery flowers up here, sparkling. We'll come back and add some little blue flowers and stuff. And we'll put some little white ones in there. We'll sparkle a little bit with some little white flowers. Just here and there. usually bunch together we want we want to make our eye go straight like that so we'll sparkle them right in here Don't want to overdo it. Let's put a little bit of blue in there. It's little pretty blue flowers. Okay, we'll put some of these little. She knows in nature. Little flocks, little wild flocks growing. Yellow flares in there. We'll put some yellow flares right up here on this thing.
We'll put some over here in this little field. Coming down to the water. Lots of nice little flowers growing on this bank underneath this tree. <clears throat> we'll put a few over here. Going up next to these trees along the bank. And we're going to have to Hurry up here. Now what we'll have to do is add a little bit of color to this water. Where I we've got this reflection of these green trees in the water here. And we'll blur this. got to pull some down here. And we'll go through and blur that real quick. Blur this. Put our little water line back in there, and I'm sorry I bumped into the camera. And you know, I've got to go to church, kids. Sorry. Put our little bank in here. Little shoreline. Now we'll make us a little watermark. Well, we'll have to quit right there. Let me put a few little clouds in the sky first before we quit. Okay, we've got this up here going on. Put these little clouds coming off this mountain. Back here.
Now we got to put some birds in. Put a little few birds in there and then we'll be done. Got to get my little bird brush down here somewhere. Don't know what it is with. It. Here it is. Okay, that's going to be it for today. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.